Hey everyone, what's up? Here's the side from Ranking10x.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can audit a GMB in less than 10 minutes and this is gonna be one of the most valuable video that you would have ever seen around GMBs and I would make sure that you feel the same. Let's get started without any further ado. Just to note that in case you're looking for an agency that could handle your SEO or marketing work, feel free to book a call with us using the link given in the description and pin comment. Now, let's directly jump into the main video. I've divided this video into mainly six part first one gonna be identify who are actually ranking and this is the part where you will see who are your actual competitors second finding the right categories because category can make or break ranking in gmb third number of reviews fourth business name and website on page audit and within that we have local schema stuff that we'll be talking about then we have number of photos and videos then products and services and their description these are gonna be the stuff that we are gonna look at and these are mainly uh, the major stuff you know that actually impacts GMB ranking okay obviously there are other factors as well but these 20 percentage of the things actually contribute 80 percentage of the ranking so okay now let's directly jump into the main video for the first step that is identify who are actually ranking you just have to put your main keyword on google and you will get that so for instance i've searched for dennis stoke on trend if you don't know stoke on trend is a city in uh, uk we are having the result over here so the first one is gross winner general practice then together general stroke on trend then alchemy general practice okay then if you click on more places you will see uh, for the competitors okay these are the competitors we are actually dealing with and we are gonna you know outrank them what you need to do is you need to open your notepad write the name of the top five competitors and yeah one more thing if you are searching from your own office you might see yourself on the maps because of the proximity but believe me you know if, if other people are searching for that in most of the cases if you're not ranking a lot in a lot area they won't find you okay what you can do is search with the uh, city name or you can install some teleport uh, chrome extension or further you can use tools like you know local falcon local dominator.com i have one video on my channel as well on how you can use them so uh you can use those tools uh, which will actually show you how how is your ranking and who are your actual competitors once that's done now we know who are our actual competitors okay now the other stuff is finding their category you can do it by two means okay first actually manually clicking each of them and seeing what are their primary categories and secondary categories now how you can do that it's pretty simple just install a chrome extension named as gmb every everywhere or second the chrome extension that is plepper you can install either of them the job is kind of uh, more or less same okay so both of the chrome extension will show you the uh, primary and secondary categories and uh, th that way you can actually look for instance you know hey these three competitors are having these five categories in common and i'm just having two so i'll need to add these three more this is the common way other one that you can do is you can use a tool known as plepper.com it's, it's a free tool actually you know it's one of the best tools that you will find uh, in the local SM market so uh using that tool you could easily find the right gmb category you just have to go on tools then go on google business profile category helper then put your business here then keywords to search for and then click on search now it's giving me category then you know listings with these categories then percentage of it okay now i know that hey these categories uh, are being used by this number of uh, you know businesses and the overall percentage as well now what i can do is i can select my primary category based on you know how much percentage it's showing then all the secondary categories okay it's, it's actually showing you related here okay now this is one of the best way i would suggest and this is the way that i would actually suggest you to do okay you can obviously to do the manual manual thing as well but that's gonna take a, for a long time and because you know this is gonna show you the data right and data actually converts into numbers and it actually shows you results uh, if applied correctly now our third thing that is number of google reviews okay it's pretty simple you don't have to do anything for that just search for the keyword now you can find how many reviews are your competitors are having you just have to check yours uh the total number of reviews and average rating for instance let's say you are having 100 reviews with five average rating and this particular business uh that is ranking is having 170 then another another one is 425 then 503 then 326 then 110 now you actually know that hey that to be in the top three i do need to have at least 170 reviews 
okay that's the bare minimum so now you know and now you can actually focus on getting more reviews i have one video on my channel where i have showcased you how you can get more reviews using the business qr code method that we utilize for our clients and that's fantastic that actually works like magic so make sure you utilize that as well now what this is done we have business name thing okay and yeah one thing that i would highly suggest you to do, do is to write all of these in google docs this is gonna make your life a lot easier and this way you will be documenting each of the step now we have business name the sole purpose of the business name step we're gonna talk about is to check whether our competitors are having keywords in their name so for instance this one is having dental practice then this if you see stoke on trent right then another dental practice then you know liverpool road dental practice and stuff like that you can see that hey uh the most common name is dental practice right it's not very much of a keyword thing right because most of the dentistry uh you know niche most of the dental practices are having this thing right if you don't have you might think of having this how so uh if you are in the us you you'll need to apply for dba you already know what that is in uk and so you might have to uh figure out the legal thing you know because again i won't suggest to just go and uh, you know add keywords in your business name the reason being google would for sure uh suspend you in almost most of the cases okay so don't do that right away what i would suggest you insert is to have that in your legal business name and then you can email google support that hey we have changed our business name and now we are doing this thing on our listing whatever that is and yeah then wait for the reply okay and yeah why this is an important step because this could actually get you ranked at the top without doing any other seo if your review count is fine and then average rating is okay because this is actually magic this works like you know wonders now the another one we are having is website on page audit it's gonna be pretty quick one that i'm gonna show you because i already have a very detailed video on on page audit if you haven't seen that make sure to check that out because that's one of the most valuable video that you would find on that now i use a tool named as seo minion to quickly check out the on page seo structure of uh, any website you can simply download this by searching for seo minion chrome extension uh, there are other free chrome extensions as well in available in the market you can check any of that because i'm not affiliated with this tool so this is going to sh uh, show me the title then meta description then we have the headings which is the most important stuff okay i've seen that you know this particular dental practice is having dennis and stroke a stroke on trend on in their uh you know meta title then practice name then in the description also they are having the keyword pretty similar then in the h1 they are having welcome to camp well dinner practice then uh in the h2s they are having all the services then stuff like that okay now what you can do is you can check the top three competitors for ranking on serp if you don't know what serp is serp is basically search in the ranking page the organic ranking of the website that you see and you can check the structure of each of them and have something in between okay because see the overall on page of this structure isn't at par but the reason why they're ranking is because of their backlink profile because again it's not that you gotta have 100 percent perfect on page structure if the other uh, off page factors are good you will be ranking okay although in uh, the best case scenario we don't want to spend a uh, heck tons of thousands of dollars on backlink so uh, we are gonna focus a lot on on page okay so this is how you do on page one more thing that i'm gonna show you is local schema which i focus a lot on okay because i've seen a great benefit with that so for instance this particular website if you see this website is having dentist schema again as i said this is important then website schema now there are tons of schema that you can utilize local business schema then you know website schema organizational schema and there are tons more you can actually have a look at my schema video that i'm having on my channel okay now how you can build this again i'm already having a video on that but you can also check out uh you know free schema builder uh one more tip and the schema that you get from yoast is your rank math they are not really you know much valuable because again with schema the thing is you gotta have better than your competitors to get an edge over them so either you pay someone to do this for you or you learn it yourself but it's gonna take a bit time okay once that's done now the next one is number of photos and videos again this is pretty simple you just have to go uh, and search for the keyword that you're looking for and then yeah just just one more tip that 
do the same on Google Maps instead, uh, it's gonna be much easier. Okay, so for instance, I've searched one, and if you see, you can just find the total number of photos from here 31 photos, then two photos, then you know, five photos. So this way, you can actually know the amount of photos and videos the uh, competitors who are ranking are having. Then the other stuff is product and services and the descriptions. Again, for this, you would need to go on Google search rather than uh, Google Maps. So just do that again. Yeah, so to find you know uh, products and services you just have to go to any of these GMB profiles and once you have already installed Pepper Chrome extension just click on this one the Google Maps CID or and just click on copy link address and go to clipper.com okay now you have to go to tools then scrape google listing services okay pretty easy now just paste this here click on scrape it will take 10 seconds and give it and now it's done in this case we didn't have any uh, services of, uh, you know of that particular gmb but in most of the cases you would find tons of them okay the same way you could do this for uh you know scrape google listing products and tons of other stuff as well post images reviews information the possibility is immense and the best thing this is absolutely free okay so utilize this use this to rank your gmb this was all about uh gmb audit video i hope you like this uh if in case you need any help feel free to comment below and yeah again if in case you're looking to hire an seo agency that actually cares about you feel free to book a call with us using the link given in the description and pin comment i'll see you on the next one till then bye, -bye.